supervisor downstairs wants last night's bus written up for a noon filing. Since you're not on R.D., the paperwork falls on my desk. On top of that, I got a one-man crime wave went on last night at the airport. Guy gets off a Tallahassee flight, starts eating civilians. Decked one guy for a suitcase, cell phone, and watch. Put a woman and her kid in the trunk of a car, stole a station wagon. Kids in the trauma ward at County General. Actually stole the little guy's baseball card. Well, he's all right. I mean, he wasn't hurt, was he? Scared him as all. He's okay. And don't go running over there. They got him under control. Just ask him. Then... He knocked over a record store for 10 dead reckoning tapes, puts the security guy in the hospital. All I got is he looks like a granite statue with hazel eyes. I'll be down. This could be the guy. Where'd you get this? We turned him last night. I'll get down and Robert gave him up. You got the number of the cell phone he took away from that guy last night? Yeah, Hanrahan and Robbery has it. Why? I think we need to call him up, see what he's doing. Damn. I must have been hit harder than I thought. Fun. I got all the old boys coming in. I got uh, Omar Love, Marvin Sims, Dave Brothers from the San Jose chapter. Mm. All the old guys before you were busted. Mm. And just like before, we're going to rip the cover off the ball. Rock and roll, man. <laughs> I'll call you when I get the bank picked out. Right. Hang on a second. Who is this? It's Rafael. I got the 30 grand in cash, man. Small bills, just like you wanted. What? Hey, this is Doug Fredericks, right? Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, go on. Armando says that you got great bazooka, man. We want to purchase your whole product line. Isn't that right? No kids. Es verdad, man. We want to buy your ganja, your Jeronimos, your copales, your cartwheels, everything, man, except for crank, okay? We leave that for the bikers. <laughs> but listen, Armando, he wants me to test it this time, okay, before we put up the money. Was this guy saying that I sell bad blues? No, 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 no. Listen. This guy, he's on his stem, man. He's chasing me dragon. He don't have no ice cream habit, okay? He's very paranoid. You know what I'm talking about. So where you want to meet? In the parking lot behind the torch, two blocks south of Alvarado Street. No cops, no mushrooms, very clean. No deal. Make it Ocean Park. Hey, man, you're freaking me out, man. I'm not going to be no barns man at the beach. Too many cops. I like downtown. I said make it Ocean Park in two hours or forget it. Now, what are you wearing? I'm wearing my black suit and my nice white hat. I'm looking very sharp, man. Muy guapo, you'll see. Ciao. <laughs> we can't take this lump of grizzle down there. You should have said no. There's old ladies and teenagers. We could have a disaster. Drop and give me 50. I'm not going to give you 50. You're not my gym teacher. And anyway, listen, trust me. I know what I'm doing, okay? I'm going to perform a dance of death on this ugly popo. Trust me. We're going to need some flash money in case we need to slow this guy down. And you're going to take the second chance, and you're going to go past. No argument. It's not necessary. You know I always carry my special business card with me, huh? And for special occasions, look at what I got here. Look at this. You see, I learned this in special forces. I can knock this bamboo silly with this bag of buckshot that I slip in here. You're going to smack him over the head with your hat like Oliver Hardy. That's good. You're going to take a piece and you're going to use a second chance. I am not going to wear that thing. I hate that thing. It ruins the line on my svelte and very highly desirable body. I can't do it. I've been taking care of you since the sixth grade. You're my brother. I love you. You're my wingman. I'm in charge. You do what I say. Don't give me any grief on this one. Don't put the basta. What's this? This was seized in our drug bus. I don't, don't say it. We're not going to use this car. We are absolutely, without question, not using this car. I will not get into this car. We got to. It's, it's the, the only one we've got. not using this car. I don't do that. You're going to dent it. Look, come in here and smell this leather. Oh. Smell that. You know what I really miss? My Shelby Mustang. I cannot believe I dumped it in the bay. Now that 
was a beautiful car. It's a submarine, a home for fish. Forget it. Come on, now me and Matt, we got this out of impound for your birthday. Come on. Now listen, it's got to be up for auction tomorrow morning, all right? So we only got it for one day. You know what Matt always says, you got to learn to enjoy new experiences. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. So where is our little brother? You know where he is. He went to see that kid. Said he'd go meet us at the park. When's he going to stop with that? I don't know. I'm worried about him. He's headstrong. Like he's always trying to prove something. Yeah, he takes chances, but he's not like you and me. One of these bad boys is liable to catch him with his guard down. I don't know. Maybe we should encourage him to go to law school. That's what Mom wants. He's smart. You know, he can do it. He won't go yet. He's still got something to prove. And, buddy, not over it yet. Neither are we. Yeah. You're right. You know, Raffi, I barely remember my national marriage. Just back. I remember my mother singing. She had a beautiful voice. That's all I remember. You know, I could still see my brother Pedro lying in a pool of his own blood. Sometimes I wake up to the sounds of my mother's screams in my ears, and I just... Anyway, listen, let's make sure nothing happens to Manny, all right? He's gonna be okay. In the meantime, you see this? You see this? Get it. It's nice. Try it out. Come on. See those two little chicas over there? They're looking down over here and they're saying, who is that good-looking Puerto Rican prince? That must be the famous Rafael Martinez of the Hat Squad. They're saying, boy, is that guy gorgeous. That's what they're saying. They're looking at the car. Punch it, Chooch. Give him a show. Bad the cute young one wasn't with him. You should see the little brother. I don't care what he said, Brian. He's not going to come get you. That's my whitey fork. Yeah? Whitey fork. It's a real rare baseball trading card. My daddy gave it to me. I don't want you to worry anymore, okay? You want it back? I'm going to get it back for you. Now give me five. All right. Now, don't you worry. I'm going to get that card for you. Okay, I got to go. All right, big guy. I'll see you soon. Brian, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Why are they keeping him here? Severe emotional trauma. That's where they're keeping him here. I mean, he's afraid to go home. He says the man is going to come back and get him. Thank you. Really, I mean, your being here made a big difference. You're welcome. That card meant a lot to him. It was his father's. He carries it around with him everywhere he goes. Where is his father? He died a couple years ago. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. You said you were going to get it back. How? I'm not sure. But one way or the other, I'll do it. You can count on that. Well, I better go. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Bye.